Good afternoon, and welcome to a very, very special episode of my talk this week. I am not at home. I am at the premises of the De Boer Foundation in Amsterdam, on the Heerengracht, which is one of the most important private art collections in Amsterdam. And uh, they've given me kind permission to discuss some of their work, so that's going to be really special. I wish I had these works, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite some special uh, place. Um, the first painting I'm going to talk about is a painting by Cornelis van Haarlem. You might know this little shell from last time. Well, there is a whole picture attached to it. Let me turn around the camera. Looky, looky at this. <laughs> This is a picture by Cornelis van Haarlem, a painter from, from Haarlem, of course, working around 1600 in the Manurist style. So the Manurist style is a style with much exaggerated forms and shapes and limbs and muscles, as you see here, the muscular arm here of uh, the god Neptune, by the way, with these signed all over. You can see it by the, by the beautiful shells here. He doesn't need the triton. I mean, he's signed all over Neptune, and the Manurist style is a style that's derived from the manner of Michelangelo, Maniera Michelangelo. Uh, so guys from the Netherlands, the northern countries, went to uh, uh, Italy, or mainly Rome, to, uh, to study the work of the Italian masters and took that with them north. These paintings were considered super old-fashioned and too international for the taste of the Dutch about, let's say, 20, 30 years ago. But 10 years ago, there was a big turn in the appreciation of pictures like these. And some eight years ago, 2018, I think, or 2008, I don't know, Jeff Koons bought a work by this master for $8 million. So that's quite a big <laughs> um, revenue. Um, this is one of the most important uh, works by this master, in which he depicts Neptune with his wife. And in this case, he is almost a representation for the job of shell collector or the persons that are interested in the collecting of and, and knowledge of shells, which was, as you know from my previous podcast, quite a big thing, even around 1600. If we look close to the back of the painting here, we can see a group, a bunch of people collecting shells on a seat. It's quite nice. You see them, they're kind of silhouetted. And let me kind of put the camera to it. You see them collecting the shells in little baskets. So it's apparently ordered by someone who collected shells. And the theory is that person is on the painting. Because as you can see, this Neptune is quite individualized. If you paint a Neptune, you have, you know, yellow or white hair and a white beard and a trident. This is quite an individual guy. He, he's even his eyes are a bit slanted. It's, it's quite individualistically represented. And this figure here, which is the partner, of course, of Neptune, you don't want to know how he got her. It's almost... It's almost me too, you know. Um, that's the partner of Neptune. He, uh, she looked quite like a, like a woman you could meet in Harlem in those days. So the theory is that these people are actually a couple of shell collectors that represent themselves as Neptune and his wife. Uh, that's what we call in art history a pitoire historique. So that's a, a historic portrait in which you uh, order the painter to... Make it make yourself in a historic garment. It is a tremendously well executed painting. You see here a shitload of shells that must have been painted true to life. I mean, Cornelis uh, uh, van Haarlem mingled in the in the upper class in the Harlem of 1600 and must have had friends who collected shells and exotic objects. And by the way, he's quite a good portrait painter. Around 1600, Cornelis van Harlem was the guy you had to ask if you wanted a portrait if you lived in Harlem. So this is two in one, as it were. It's a mythological portrait and it's a portrait of a shell collector with all these beautifully executed shells, that muscular, extended super over-the-top arm that would go totally out of fashion just 10 years later when the Dutch were considered painters of Dutch Golden Age scenes like landscapes or portraits that we all know, know now know of. So the Manurist movement is kind of a little hidden secret among art historians, but it's really, really interesting and, consider and considering the internationalization of the art world in that period, quite something to behold. Um, We'll discuss more paintings from this tremendous collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. More to come.